Hi, everyone. Yeah, thank you for coming. Everyone's favorite topic, testing. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the last session before the break. So I uh, want to make sure that we run it smoothly so we have extra time for both discussion and coffee. So kind of want this session to be a bit more interactive. So I will try to kind of like go to Q&A session and hopefully everyone can share their experience with uh, tests and how they structured it in their own company. Because I don't think like it's something everyone, every, it's something everyone does differently. So, okay. Yeah, so I will start by covering uh, how different uh, pipelines for training model in the cloud and deploying it to edge can look like. Then I, can, I will cover different strategies for testing and different types of testing. And then finally uh, go over, some, like uh, summarize uh, all the tests and things. So let's start from practical example. So let's say I got a case from the customer. Uh, I need to train a model which will set, tell basically whether there is a corgi on the image or not. So OK, uh, I, uh, I start with getting data. So I get data from my phone. So I have a lot of uh, photos of my corgi uh, and some other photos of not corgi on my phone. OK, then I select some good model architecture, maybe even using NAS. And after that, like, I train the model on my data, which I found. And then, let's say I either can, like, need to deploy to Edge, either convert it to Onyx, or let's say I can basically organize it in Docker container or something like that. I run it on Edge. I give it photo of not Corgi, but German Shepherd. And it returns Corgi. So why did it happen? So could be that data preprocessing between cloud and edge is different. Maybe inference framework has a different version, and I didn't know that, and it doesn't support model fully. Or NPU drivers are not backward compatible and drop some of the tensors, something which never happens in production, obviously. Or data drift happened on edge, and I didn't know that. Or training set wasn't comp comprehensive enough. So, Usually, proper testing can solve most of the issues above, not all though, but at least what it can help with is removing false leads. So you can easier triage the issue. So now let's look at how basically pipeline can look like and basically pipeline evolution. 